Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 106. Day, three, day 3106. 3 is to signify that we are in a third edition. Third edition, day 106. We're going to do one problem today. This problem that you see on the blackboard is not in the book, so don't try to look for it. It's not there. Let's read it together, shall we? It says, a box contains, we have a box containing 80 bowls. A box contains 80 bowls, we are told. They are numbered. Each one of this bowl, it contains 80 bowls, and each one of those bowls is numbered. They are numbered 1 through 80, because there are 80 of them. We are going to select 3 of them. 3 bowls are to be selected at random with replacement. So we're going to pick one ball, make a note of what number it has on it, write down the number that it has on it, put it back in the in the bag, pick a second ball, make a note of the number that we have and so forth. Do you understand? We're going to pick three balls at, at random with replacement. The question simply is, what are the odds that the sum of the three balls will be even? We're going to make a note of the numbers that we see on the, each one of those three balls and we're going to add up those three numbers and we want to see if the sum is even or odd. And the question here is, what are the odds that the sum of these three balls is going to be even. Here are the answer choices. One quarter, three eighth, one half, five eighth, and three quarters. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Pause the video, solve the problem yourself first. Once you have done so, then you co com then compare your work against the work that uh, you and I will do together in a few seconds, okay? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. One more time, a box contains 80 balls numbered 1 through 80. Three balls are, be, are to be selected at random with replacement. What are the odds that, the, their, that their sum is going to be even? Let's take a look at it, shall we? We want, we want the sum, we want the sum to be even. Well, if we want sum to be even, there are essentially two ways you're going to achieve that out of three numbers. One is very simple, which is the, you happen to select all three numbers that are even. When all of those three numbers are even, their sum is going to be even. Or we can have a situations where we have two odd numbers. We have two odd numbers and one even. For example, we can have odd plus odd. Plus even. Such as 3 plus 5. Because you see odd plus odd will become even. Odd plus odd will become even. And then even plus even will remain even. So that's one possibility. Or any, any other combination of this thing. As long as we have 2 odd and 1 even. So, or we can put even in the middle. We can have odd plus even plus odd. Or you can put the even in the front, even plus odd plus odd. In other words, the first ball that you draw happens to have an even number on it. The second ball that you draw happens to have an odd number on it. And the third one also has an odd number, in which case their sum is going to be even. So those are the two main, main branches. And of course, there are three ways we can achieve this here. The question is, what are the odds of getting something like this? What, are the pro what is the probability that the first ball that I draw has an even number on it? What is the probability that the second ball that I draw has an even number on it? What's the probability that the third ball that, that we draw has even number on it? Well, what do you think? First of all, we have to understand, and again, keep in mind that these are done with replacement. So this is much simpler. Without replacement, it would have been much more complicated. With replacement, it's very simple. What was I going to say? Oh, first thing we need to understand is that because it is with replacement, the probability of each one of these three events is independent of any other two other two events. These three events are independent events. In other words, the probability of choosing an even number on the third row or on the second row or on the first row has absolutely nothing to do with probability of what the probability was on the other two draws. They are three independent events. And they all will also have the equal probability because they have equal number of balls at the at the beginning of each draw. What are the odds of drawing an even number? Well, there are 80 balls. 
we are told that there are 80 bowls and we are told that they are numbered 1 through 80. If they are numbered 1 through 80 and if there are 80 bowls, half of them are going to be even, half of them are going to be odd. 1 through 80 will have 40 odd numbers and 40 even numbers and therefore the art of drawing an even number is just one half. Similarly, this one half on the second row, art of, art of, odds of drawing an even number on the third row is also one half. And because they are independent event, therefore the odds of drawing an even number on the first row and the second row and then the third row is simply their product. It is simply their product, nothing more than that because they are independent events. And therefore the odds of drawing such odds of something like this having of three even number is simply one eighth. But we don't get just one chance at it. We just don't get one. We don't just get one chance at it. We get four chances. We can have the sum to be even. We can have sum to be even either this way, or we can have sum to be even this way, where we have two odd, odd, and even. Or we can have some of the three numbers to be even this way, where we have odd, even, and odd, or even, odd, and odd. We get four chances. Therefore, the probability that the sum is going to be one of some of some of these three numbers is going to be even is simply let's put this in the middle here so that it, does, it doesn't look like it just belongs to this thing. So it's simply one eight, one eighth one eighth chance for each one of these four events. But we do have four events. We do have four tries. We we do have four different ways we can achieve the sum to be even and therefore the total probability is simply four times this amount and four times that amount is just one half. That's all there is. That's all there was. Now, what would have happened if instead of even, if they had asked for odd? You want to try it yourself? You want to try it yourself where sum needs to be odd? Go ahead, try it yourself if you like. Pause the video again and do it yourself. Nothing much is going to change. Nothing much is going to say. If you want sum to be odd, again, there are basically two ways we can do that. Either they are, all of them are odds, they are all odds, or we can have two evens and one odd. Two evens and one odd. Nothing much changes here. Two evens and one odd. Let's list, list them here. Two evens, even plus even plus even, and then odd will give the sum to be odd because even plus even is even and, and then the sum is even plus odd will remain odd or we can put this in the middle nothing changes it's the same as before exact same situation or we can have the odd one drawn first and again just like before the odds of drawing the odds of drawing an odd number the probability of drawing an odd number is one half because half of them are odd half of them are even and therefore probability of drawing three balls where they all happen to be odd is simply one half times one half times one half is one eighth. We get what this is one way of doing it. There are three other three more ways altogether. There are four ways the same as before. The answer is not going to change whether they whether they require some to be odd or even. Answer is not going to change. The answer is one half. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.